What's going on campers? Camp Faser here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today it's going to be a short and sweet one. We're going to talk a little bit more about the fuse box and the situations that we might encounter when trying to repair this fuse box. Let's get into it. Camp Faser. <laughs> Now you guys, after watching the gameplay over and over, I overlooked the fuse box and I thought to myself, how do you actually repair this? It looks a little confusing. But so then I did, you know, I, I paused it and on the bottom left hand corner, it tells us how to restore power. Match the round fuse color with the correct slot, ensuring the amp value is met for each pair. Once complete, power will be restored and the basement exit will open temporarily. Okay, you guys, so it's pretty simple. We have two pairs of amps. We have this this row right here is uh, we need to equal three amps, and this row on the bottom we need to equal 16 amps. Now, there's obviously only one blue uh, uh, bulb that was over here, and that was the number one. Now we have to choose the correct green to equal three amps. Obviously, we're going to pick the two and place that here, so two plus one equals three. There's that one, and then on the bottom, we have a yellow and we have a red. Now, there's only one red on the left. We're going to obviously grab that one red nine and put it there. And then the yellow, there's only one yellow, so that's pretty simple, too. We're going to put the seven over there. So nine plus seven equals 16. I'm sure this green light comes on. We pull the lever, and bam, there we go. Okay, so there's a few questions here. First off... This does look like a mini game, as in like when you go to click it to repair this fuse box, it seems like the screen you're looking at now, it'll zoom in to this screen. So that being said, you're playing on this screen, but you cannot see behind you, you guys. Now, to my understanding, while you're doing this mini game, the match is still in place, so one of the Slaughter family members could sneak up behind you and attack you or kill you. So not only are you trying to do the math and, and correctly place these in the correct spots and add up the math to equal 16, you're, there's a lot of tension build up behind. Like you could at any given point in time get grabbed by one of the Slaughter family members. Now that's just going to make this whole situation that much more exciting and tense. Now there's another idea I thought, I, I don't know if Gunn is going to implement this into this whole mini game. But how crazy would it be, as soon as you start doing this, a build-up music starts playing. Like, a tension build-up. Like, like da -da 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 da 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 Something like that. I'm not saying that. I mean, don't, excuse my little, uh... <laughs> not like that, but like some kind of a big, like, mini-game build-up, uh, 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 sting or, or, or background music. to give you more pressure, to, to make your hands sweat a little bit more. And also, let's face it, not all of us out there are great at math, and I know a simple addition isn't hard, but when you're trying to do this, and you're trying to do it quick without messing up, it's gonna, you know, your mind is gonna be um, spinning 100 miles an hour. Uh, and there's another question too is, what happens if we place the wrong fuse in the wrong color and try pulling the power on? Or what if we add up on accident a little less than 16 or a little more than 16 is that going to throw off a signal an alarm to the family members saying oh look somebody just messed up the fuse box and then they're going to go running up there after you kind of like in friday the 13th the game when you're trying to repair the phone box and you mess the skill check up jason Voorhees hears that he immediately morphs there and tries to kill you is it going to play out the same way and there's another question too do we have to find any of these uh, fuse bulbs in the house? Or when we open up this fuse box with a special tool, will these automatically be set on the shelf of the inside of this panel? And then is this fuse here already, or do we have to find this fuse? Do we have to find all this stuff, or is it already inside the fuse box that we don't know yet i don't know anything about that we'll have to wait and see on that but 
I think it might be a little bit too difficult if we had to find the fuse and all the bulbs uh, just to repair this. Because to my understanding, when you run up uh, to the fuse box itself, it, the door, the panel door is shut. And it, it, it says you have to find a special tool to unlock the fuse box itself. So that alone right there seems like uh, enough of a challenge to find the special tool to open it and then repair it. And then down here, it does say the exit will only be open for a short period of, period of time. So if, if people don't make it through the exit, you're going to have to come back up here and do it again. So that seems like enough of a challenge instead of finding all the fuse bulbs and the fuse itself. So my guess is we don't have to find all this stuff. Now, you guys, if you have ever seen in real life an old house from like the 1800s or even modern homes that have been restored, but they're old homes, uh, they ha some of them still have these old school panels, uh, uh, fuse boxes, and this is pretty accurate. A lot of them have shapes in color and you have to match them up. And not only that, if you put a fuse that's too high in it, like let's just say this is a 20 amp fuse and you put a 30 amp instead of a 20 amp it'll work in real life but the problem is it can cause a fire because the wire that's connected to this 20 amp if you have a lot of things plugged into that one circuit upstairs and you're running like a computer a fan ac or whatever and it's throwing in way more than 20 amps it's the because you have 30 plugged in here, it could overheat the wire and cause a fire in your home. So that's why these old school uh, fuse boxes are very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And again, these screw in like light bulbs. They have threads in real life and they're glass. So you could see through to see if a fuse got blown or not inside the actual bulb. And that's why they're made out of glass, you guys. So... But in this game, I can't see Gun uh, making us screw them in like a light bulb. I think we'll just grab them and put them there, and they'll just pop into place. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be very interesting uh, to see how this all plays out and how fast you'll be able to restore it or mess up or I don't know. And I wonder how long the door stays open for. And I wonder if there's a... Uh, some kind of a meter showing us when the door is going to shut down here on the bottom right or something like that. We'll have to wait and see on that. So, so yeah. And there's another question, too. I wonder if one of the Slaughter members can come up here and shut it off on us. And the door starts to slowly shut. And then we have to go back and like do it all over again. We'll just have to wait and see on that. But this is a very interesting little uh, discussion on this game. I want to know what you guys think about this down in the, uh, the comments section below. Are you guys excited to play this game? What do you think about the fuse box? How it's going to work? Have you guys ever seen an old school fuse bo box like this in your home? Let's talk about it in the comments section below. I Again, I think the whole tension build up music while you're doing this would be a great uh, idea to put into this game. And uh, it would just make you sweat to have a, a big... Uh, uh, dramatic music build up, like heart heart beating build up music behind you while while you're doing this, and maybe only you can hear it because you're the only one repairing this. So yeah. Um, anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, click notifications to all so you don't miss a video in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers. It's spooky season, October 1st, Halloween's right around the corner. I want to say be excellent to each other and stay out of the woods.